Parents are now having to have the hamster or goldfish conversation with their children as Moxie, a toy developed for childhood development, is going away due to bankruptcy. If you're not familiar with Moxie, this toy was touted as something that could help children develop social skills, friendships, and was supposed to be helpful for children with disabilities. It talked, it interacted, and it actually was pretty cool. Children under the age of seven have a difficult time separating reality from fiction. So you're going to see videos on this app of parents trying to explain to their child why their friend has to go away. The company sent out a letter to parents to help them explain what's going on. And it's essentially that the company didn't have enough money, so the children are going to lose their friend, which to me feels like a core childhood trauma. Now these things go from $700 up and you can still buy them online. The company is making sure that when they go away, they will no longer be able to be even usable on the offline network. So for those who purchased it for Christmas this year, there is no recourse. The company did claim that this was an investor that pulled out at the last minute, but I don't really buy it. They knew. This is a relatively minor example of some of the problems that I've talked about, and that's that tech companies can just go away at any point. We saw that when people's bionic eyes became obsolete. Technology is no longer supported and it was lost. By the way, that stuff went in the eyeball and good luck finding a surgeon who feels remotely comfortable removing it. This happens on the heels of companies that are racing to make the first household robots. Tesla is selling their robots for twenty dollars to $30,000, and they claim that you could use them to babysit your children and clean your home. Do not do that, but the technology is coming. Along with that, we've seen some of the first bionic seeing eye dogs and other service animals. This is great for somebody who might have a severe allergy to dogs, or maybe lives in a situation where they can't have a seeing eye dog or can't care for it. Remember that dogs do require continuous training, and if someone isn't capable, they may not have that choice. Having a robotic dog is a solution. Unitree's dogs are relatively affordable. The base model costs $1,600. I did speak with the company. The more advanced models that can be coated with cost $30,000, probably more if you have specialized people working on them to make them seeing eye dogs. Unitree also has a cheaper model of the humanoid bots for just $16,000. One of the things I am concerned about is what happens to childhood development when you are raised by a robot. We do know that having nannies raising your children and multiple unstable caregivers that might go away, which we saw with Moxie, it does lead to some confusion about children's identities. Children do need consistent caregivers, and it can lead to some trauma and behavioral problems. I expect we're going to see some effects of having unstable caregivers as robots in the very near future. Also, what's up with the decision to have it not work even offline? I've got robots in my house and they work just fine, even if the company were to go away. I am sure there are go-arounds, and if you did purchase Moxie and still want to use it, I can look into that for you. I do, however, want to hear from you guys. What do you think the biggest risk when it comes to having robots in your household is? Are you concerned about hacking? Are you concerned about just the expense of them and whether or not they're as functional as they promised? Or is it something else altogether that I didn't touch on?